Okay, so to make the servo switch, I've got my receiver powered up. Transmitter is on. Receiver is just being powered by the 12 volt battery pack going through a uh, 5 volt U back. Um, I've got my servo switch plugged into receiver on a dedicated channel. I have my jumper cables, they run along and they go to, basically it's a 5 volt uh, flashlight that I took apart, which will work good for a demonstration purpose here. And if you look close, I've got the three jumpers that went out to the rheostat, soldered together, so basically the, the the servo chipboard is thinking that the rheostat is centered. Uh, I've soldered on the two extra lead wires that would have been for the motor up the servo board. And when we go to my transmitter here and turn it on, we now have a switch. Focus there. We have a switch. A very bright little Use it as landing light, spotlight, or whatever. Now the trick here is, and now that I'm, I am pulling a lot of juice through this thing, it might be getting warm. Yes, it is getting warm, so you're going to shut it off. Best thing to do with this little tiny chip on the board here, get back into focus, is just put a heat sink on there, and that'll stop it from burning out. But that's if you want to use it as a switch to run spotlights but what I am doing is I got myself one of these and basically it's just a relay switch and I could bypass the power because right now I'm using 5 volts out of this thing here constant 5 volts when the lead light is on and the amp draw and all those little lights is right at breaking point for the uh, circuit board so I'm going to connect this to a 12 volt relay switch, uh, 5 volts on the coil, 12 volt pass through, and I will be able to power 12 volt sources right off the battery pack. And I'll do that next. Okay, and look, right on. Works good.